first thing I'll say is a lot of people think that I actually don't do it. I have a video that shows my bed. And any, anyone who comes over, like, you want to check out my bed? I sleep on one plane, so check it out. I got this tiny, thin wool mat. It's, it's, it's about that thick. It's just made out of wool. Um, before, we used to just, just sleep on wood. And my little queen is hardcore. She's like, we're just going to sleep on wood. And I said, fine, let's just sleep on wood. After about a year of having bone bruises on the hip and shoulders, listen, I don't think my body's adapting. And we went to visit with Primitive Culture Tribes, and they all have a little bit of cushion. Either some natural ground or some, some, some leaves, some little cushion. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do that too. And I slept much better. Um, the answers are, our bodies were never really meant to be in this kind of cast. To be in something so, think about it, you go up to modern day beds, and it's a perfect height, right? You just barely fall into it. You know, and, and so there's a few things. One is that, like, I, I got to get down to get into my bed. Same way, so your mobi the mobility requirements are greater. You meet with these 80 and 90 year olds of these permanent culture tribes, they have no trouble sitting in a full squat position for hours on end. Every single day, they're getting down here and they're getting up and down. How many people just in their 40s and 50s can't do that? If you never stop doing it, you never lose that mobility. So that's one reason. Another reason is modern day mattresses, most of them are off gassing, right? So you've got your head. You're taking in this sort of toxic stuff like uh, off gassing of non-native materials while you're sleeping. Uh, a lot of these also have springs in them, these metal springs that conduct, conduct ambient EMF electricity, right? So you need to be in the deepest parasympathetic sleep environment when you're sleeping to restore and recover and reload for the next day. Sleep is, I think, one of the most complicated ones, so I try and make it simple. Here's a few things you can do. People aren't going to start sleeping on the ground. Right? What, what I said earlier is get early morning sun, finish your last meal three to four hours before bed, take in the sunset, and then after the sunset, you need to shield yourself from some of the blue lights. You can either wear the UVX glasses or put some candle lights up. How much you want to bet that's going to improve your sleep so much. And then if you want to go overboard and be obsessive, probably like you are and, and like I am, um, there's, there's about six or seven other things you can do um, that will drastically improve your sleep. And, and sleeping closer to the ground, sleeping with a much stiffer environment is going to help you out. You know, it's um, the reason why, I, I told you this before we started recording, but the reason why um, I was really, really keen to have this conversation with you is because I've seen in culture over the last 10 years, having, you know, I'm, I'm a social media native, so I've seen how conversation around mental health and mental well-being has evolved over the last 10, 15 years, and the, the emergence of the, the conversation, the very sort of prolific conversation around mental health, and the, the cures for much of these sort of mental um, ailments or our well-being crises that, I, that has emerged tend to be really really complicated and they tend and i think in part they're complicated so that we can sell people stuff like if it's simple if it's as simple as you're kind of saying it is i can't actually sell you that me telling you to sleep is not something that i can necessarily sell you but i could sell you you know some 17 step course to better sleep with some contraption that goes oh, yeah. you know so that's um, what i love about my message is you, you know um Early, 